Hello YouTube. According to the Habarovsk Russian newspaper, Maladoy uh, Dalnevostochnik, local archaeologists have found a metal plate that was dated to the first millennium BC. Scientists claim that the jewelry of this type is often found in Transbaikalia. Those who watch my videos about Lake Baikal and the unusual swimmers, of course, humanoids and other phenomena. You already know much more about Lake Baikal than an average person. And if you have not seen my videos, please find the playlist. Now, about this discovery, Russian academician Derevyanenko draws attention to the fact that there are carvings similar to such a plate with teeth are found on the Maya Toko rivers in Yakutia and on the Arbi river in the upper Amur region. Amur, that's in the far east of Russia. And again, you can see my videos about that area, including the new Russian space port there. Very interesting. And Yakutia, you can see a lot in my videos about ancient aliens. And I draw your attention to the cauldrons and other phenomena in that area and now we have this plate there are people in russia who are sure that this plate is a product of some ancient man-made civilization smooth holes and teeth on it indicate this so you can see of course the photograph uh, uh, in this video of that plate now on to another place hakasia and recently i made a video about some strange phenomena there too but today we will speak about the Salbikski or Salbik Kurgan or mound, burial mound, located in the Salbik tract, 60 kilometers from Abakan in the Republic of Hakasia. It's a Russian federal subject. It is often compared to the English Stonehenge. Although the Siberian mound is much larger, the mound was found and excavated in the middle of the last century. It turned out to be the burial of the Tagar king and his subjects, uh, which actually was attributed to the 7th century BC. Old photographs show that it used to be a high earthen embankment in the shape of a pyramid, from which only the stone slabs of the fence now remain. And this place, they <coughs> raise many questions. The fact is, is that the height of some of them is 8 meters and the weight is about 60 tons. You have to understand, keep it in your mind, this volume. At the same time, there were mine in a quarry, which is located 50 kilometers from the mound. And it is completely unclear exactly how these multi-ton blocks were brought here many centuries ago and how they were able to be installed in an upright position. So when you speak about the Easter Island, understand that in Russia there is also very interesting phenomena. Maybe similar, maybe different, but of the same nature. Interesting, the place where the Salbic Mound is located is called the Valley of the Kings. Not only the Salbic Mound was found here, but more than 50 similar structures. Many of them had petroglyphs that were destroyed by vandals. Another interesting point, interestingly, the Targaryens belonged to the Caucasoid type, which suggests that uh, in ancient times Siberia was inhabited by Caucasian people as well. This is very interesting. Uh, because we really don't know much about ancient Siberia, but we're finding such interesting artifacts. One more amazing thing, the study of the skeleton of the, uh, the Tagar uh, king showed that his ribs and legs were once broken, but then fused perfectly correctly. This fact suggests that Targaryen medicine was at the highest level. And now let me tell you about a very strange lake and its rectangular, rectangular slabs not far from that mound. Lake Shira 
is the most remarkable and unusual body of water in northern Hakassia. The lake is located in a shallow intermountain depression in the North Minusing Basin, 340 kilometers southwest of Krasnoyarsk. The area of the lake is 35 square kilometers. The length of the lake from northwest to southeast is 9.5 kilometers. The maximum width is 5.3 kilometers and the maximum depth is 24 meters. In the years 2007 and 2012, inspection of the southwestern shore showed that the coast is lined with rectangular slabs. The purpose of this plate is not known and geologists still refer to natural unusual forms. 15 slabs with cut ends were found on the eastern side of, the, of that site. The researchers were sure that no natural phenomenon could, by this influence, reproduce the characteristic rectangles and lay them in a dense cover along the shore of the lake. Look at the photographs. Then it was suggested that perhaps this is an artificial protection of the coast from swamping, from becoming a small swampland. Apparently, someone was interested in preserving the coastline for certain purposes, which uh, you know we, we can't even surmise. In the summer of 2012, researchers and a group of uh, enthusiasts decided to inspect the bottom of the lake. Well, at the depth of five to ten meters. The researchers were able to photograph fragments of giant stone slabs. In uh, 2012, Russian researchers discovered another strange phenomenon of the coast of uh, Lake Shira. After running, uh, running a magnet to the lake sand, uh, the professor in charge found a lot of magnetic fractions stuck to the, uh, to the plate. These particles showed a complex composition, which was confirmed by a future examination. Similar fractions were found at nearby lakes Shunet and Matarak. X-ray luminescence analysis of the slab pieces showed that they have a complex structure that includes silicon, aluminum, magnesium, iron, strontium, niobium, yttrium. Experts have confirmed that such complex alloys are used only in space and military industries today. Were these elements mined, it's quite possible. And again, assuming meteorite impact, we found the presence of a significant amount of magnetic inclusions, magnetic sand in the samples. But large fragments of up to 20 millimeter of magnetic nodules were found in the soil of the coastal part of Lake Shira and bottom samples from the same zone were melted fragments that also have magnetic susceptibility. How is that for ancient civilizations and their technology? Don't you wish that somebody put real money to study this discovery? Of course there are other discoveries in other parts of the world. It's an amazing planet but no real money is being spent to study this. And, you know, there are countless civilizations, I'm sure, that preceded ours, but some of them look to be very well adv advanced. One day I'll talk about other countries, including India, and what has been discovered there using Russian information. Now, let's move on to Siberia. It would seem that with the help of hundreds of satellites, almost every minute fixing any change on uh, the Earth's surface, literally every inch of it has been studied for a long time. But no, geography lovers are still waiting for discoveries. There are still so-called white spots on our planet, although very small. One such spot turned out to be a previously unknown lake located in the Kaminsky district of the Altai territory. It was accidentally found on satellite images by researchers of the Central Siberian Botanical Garden. Researchers were surprised that this lake has nothing to do with rivers and streams. Water doesn't flow into, and, uh, into it and out of it. The lake has a perfectly round shape and at first glance looks 
like a meteorite crater, but there are no rocks around it that are formed when meteorites hit the earth. The lake is densely overgrown with forest around this circumference, but it is followed by a mysterious treeless, there are no trees, ring, which is clearly visible in the pictures. According to scientists, such formations have not been found in the Altai territory before. But I'll tell you soon about something else that has been found in the Altai territory for ages now. And tell me what you see in the ancient rock paintings. If you see the spaceships that are clearly visible and strange beings or humanoids around. We'll get to it. So, there is more esoteric Russia to be discovered and I'll be your guide to do so. I appreciate those who support me. I appreciate attention of people who watch my channel. If you can support me, please do. There are links in the description to this video. Please subscribe to my channel and tell others. And I'll bring you much more interesting paranormal information from Russia and Eurasia and other parts of the world. Some of which I had the opportunity to visit and actually do field research, which I mentioned in my videos before. Africa, uh, Mexico and so forth. Thank you.